All right, people, welcome back. More car review. So I am back from my trip to Utah. I will be telling you guys all about it. But before that, of course, we got to do car review. So today we are looking at a ritual monster. Uh, Blue Eyes got a ritual monster, which is pretty strong. I, mean, I must admit before we get into it. Uh, I was going to go ahead and look at it before look at its ritual spell because when it first came out, we didn't have our ritual spell, but really, you don't need it, but we'll get into that. But, no, we have the ritual spell now, so, uh, double review, generally, when we do ritual monsters, you get the ritual spell, and you get the ritual monster, because it's kind of weird to do one without the other, but this card was doable without the other, and, what, wait, what, is it playable without it? Yes, it is. Is it powerful enough to not play it? Yes, it is, but, I'm getting that. So, this is Blue Eyes Chaos Max Dragon. Make sure you capitalize that, Max. It's Max. To the Max, all right? It, this is 80s, 90s, kids. This is the hip, cool shit. This is Max. This is stupid. Uh, a blue eyes ritual. Okay, interesting. Uh, dark, not light. Despite being blue eyes, this is dark. Hmm. Okay. Uh, car art's pretty cool. You know, it looks it looks powerful. It really does. Like a cool mechanical blue eyes. I mean, Shining kind of did that before, but this is cool too. You know, I can see it's all technological and dark purple at the top. So I guess I was like, hey, look, it's dark, kids. <laughs> Eat it up. Uh, Dragon Ritual Effect Monster, level 8. Alright, 4,000 attack. That is high attack for Ritual Monsters, but only 0 defense. So, uh, same stats as uh, Rainbow Dragon. You know how we give Rainbow Dragon shit for having 0 defense? Like, wait a minute, you can be Book of Moon and ran over? Like, yeah, but uh, I'm not sure if this card will be getting Book of Moon anytime soon, but we'll, we'll get to that. So, you can Ritual Summon this card with Chaos Form. Alright, so, let's look at Chaos Form. Chaos Form... Reads, uh, it's a ritual spell card, alright. Use this card to ritual summon any chaos or black luster ritual monster. And I, b I believe black luster in, like, the OCG name has chaos in his name, so they're like, hey, we'll include him. Or maybe they're actually doing something with, you know, black luster, maybe he'll get, like, a powerful ritual, uh, you know, this is all in the movie. Like, this, this is all preparation for this big 28-year anniversary, you know, Yu-Gi-Oh! movie. Alright, good for them, alright, but... Seriously, the hype, the hype is just too much. It really is. Like uh, this movie better be great because if it turns out it's like shit, I mean, m the majority of things that Konami does turns out like shit. But uh, it's just the hype is too real. All right, so uh, any chaos or black luster ritual monster, we're gonna be looking at chaos. All right, uh, tribute monsters from your hand, field, or banish blue eyes, white dragons, or dark magicians from your graveyard. After that, Ritual Summon 1 Chaos or Black Luster Ritual Monster whose level uh, is exactly equal to the total level of those monsters. So you have like a Necro's Mirror? Yeah. And Field or Banish from your Graveyard Blue Eyes. So essentially you go ahead and play this. Banish Blue Eyes in your hand, Field or Graveyard. I mean, I mean, Tribute a Monster from your hand to Field or Banish from a Blue Eyes in your Graveyard. Special Summon Max. Simple as that. So, that's pretty good. You know, the only big problem with this, this is, and the thing that probably hurts this the most is, of course, Chaos Form doesn't specifically specify Blue Eyes, Chaos, Max, Dragon, therefore, no pre-preparation of rights. It's here. But it's fine, it's fine. Because, because um, you know, this card being level 8, and there's a particular famous Yu-Gi-Oh! Dragon that's also level 8, that's a normal monster, and... On the previous list, we had a particular card go up to three. That's a ritual card? Hmm. I don't know. Maybe advanced ritual art? Advanced ritual art? Send Blue Eyes from your deck to Grave Art summon this? And that's the reason why, uh, despite us not getting Chaos Form revealed yet, we're like, okay. Advanced ritual art. You know? Uh, it says that it must be special summon. Cannot be special in other ways. Ritual summon, but it doesn't say it can only be special summon with cast form. It just says you can ritual summon with cast form. So you can summon it with advanced ritual art. So yeah, that's good. <laughs> and uh, pretty power, I must say. I must say. Uh, so let's actually get to the meat and potatoes of this video. Let's get to Chaos Max Dragon. Let's get to its effect and see. Remember, he's 4,000 attack. Uh, starting it off, cannot be targeted or destroyed by your opponent's card effects. I mean, you're making a lot of these. You really are, you know. Uh, this is pretty much the second best effect you can ask for besides just being straight up unaffected by card effects. Because while you are like, I'd say like, maybe like 80% invincible, you're still vulnerable to a handful of things. You know, uh, you can still get, you know, Rippling Mirror Force, Storming Mirror Force, uh, uh, still, you, you're, you know, you're, you're not unaffected by card effects. You get Monarch Storm Force, uh, 
just you can't be targeted or destroyed by card of, uh, your opponent's card effect. So I believe that's which boss monster is that? I think that's the Moonlight Leo. I think she can't be targeted or destroyed by card effect, but she's still affected by card effects that don't target or destroy her. Therefore, this card can get fucked up by Igneister because it can. <laughs> oh, and Tiramisu. So. But, you know, not 4,000 beats that can't be targeted or destroyed by card effects, I'm okay with that. You know, especially how easy it is. Just venture short some blast some of this, so. Uh, and then the second effect, which is probably, like, one of the scary effects I've seen in the cool minute. It's this card attacks a defense position monster. Inflict double piercing battle damage to your opponent. Hello? <laughs> so, if you attack into a zero, def uh, zero defense position monster, that's a game. <laughs> that's 8,000. Like... Wow, so once that can't be targeted or destroyed by card effect, where generally, you know, you're like, hey, well, let me go ahead and more of a defensive route. Let me back off and go less aggressive. I mean, he has a 4,000 fucking beater that can't be targeted or destroyed by my fucking card effects. I think I'll start setting monsters and trying to wall up, hopefully drawn to something to handle this. No, because it inflicts double piercing damage. So you might as well just summon that zero attack, zero defense monster in attack mode and not get the piercing damage because you'll die. It's just like, wow, it's so much fucking damage that they're just like fuck it it kind of makes you want to just you know give your opponent some way of giving your opponent some token with zero defense just to summon this and fucking pierce it for a game it's like wow you know just like special summon uh, uh mithra on your side of the field summon this pierce that mayor to talk token like ha bitch like but okay so uh i definitely see this card doing really well you know like i said you can't search it with pre preparation of rights, it kind of sucks, but Cross Form is a good ritual spell. Ventral Shard is good. I probably play like maybe like three Ventral Arts and like two Chaos Form uh, because you could always double up on this. You know, it doesn't say that you can only special summon one max dragon once per turn. So you can go, all right, if you have two of these in your hand, and you know, you can go ahead and run Manju and Sanju to go, make sure you go ahead and search all your nice rituals. Like, it, you can incorporate more ritual plays into your Blue Eyes deck. You can just simply go, all right. Advanced Ritual Art, send Blue Eyes, Summon Chaos Max Dragon from my my hand. Chaos Form, banish that Blue Eyes that I just sent to the graveyard with Advanced Ritual Art, Summon the Chaos Max Dragon from my hand. Now I got two 4,000 beaters that can't be target destroyed by card effect that are double piercing you. Like get get your booty, booty, booty ready. Bring that ass here, boy, because you're going to get destroyed. Like It's a pretty powerful. I, I, I mean, I'm not sure if Blue Eyes is going to be much meta in the TCG because, of course, we are not getting a very, very important card here in the TCG, which is just like, wait, we're not getting that in the TCG? That is, like, one of the most important Blue Eyes cards. And you're wondering, like, which one is it? Which one are we not getting? We're not getting Alternate. Alternate. You know the one you reveal, Special Summon Pop Monster, Alternate? No, we're not getting that. Like, oh, okay. So I'm not sure if it's going to be as meta. I know Blue Eyes is... Uh, maybe like the second or third best deck in the OCG, so that's good. And I mean, PK Fire is everywhere. But uh, I mean, this card is pretty powerful. You know, I totally wouldn't mind taking the time to actually, you know, diligently work on this because it's just a boss monster that's worth fighting for. I mean, 4,000 beat that can't be targeted, destroyed by card effects, and dub double pierce, let's go. You know, I, if I bust it out at the right time, I could easily win a duel. And while it's not perfectly invincible, it's invincible enough, especially with a lot of pressure that's putting on your opponent. So. Yeah, overall, I think it's a very powerful card, and looking forward to seeing what it does in the movie or in the meta, probably in the OCG, because it's coming out in the OCG, and we don't know when it's coming out here in the TCG, because, like I said, it's a, it's a movie card. So, anyway, tell me what you guys think about Blue Eyes, Chaos Max Dragon, and Chaos Field in the comment section below. So, thanks for watching, thanks for the support, and I will see you guys on Wednesday for more cards on card review to look at. I kind of forgot how I end this. Alright people, thanks for watching.